Valerian root, is it good? Is it bad? Do I recommend it? Do I not recommend it? Find out my two cents right now. Choose some Valerian root and get more exercise. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I just wanna do a quick little video today on Valerian root. Um, this one's a, a supplement that I've been taking for a long time. It's one of the original like sleep supplements that I would take. I forget even where I heard of it. I, I tried other sleep supplements. I mean, personally, I don't like melatonin. I don't, I can't take it. I, it's a hormone to me and it really messes me up. Pretty much one of the best things I've ever found for sleep, like the number top two supplements ever, I'd say, say is magnesium and valerian root. Valerian root is just one of the absolute best things I've ever taken for sleep. Um, people say that it doesn't work for like, if you take it for like two or three weeks, you need to like take two or three weeks off. It just use, it loses its effect. I swear, man, if you guys take this, this supplement at the right times, it's an absolute godsend. Um, whenever I take this supplement, I would say uh, you, most of the time, like I have so much better sleep and I need actually less sleep, which is actually crazy. Like there'll be times where I'm not, I can, I've just consistently not gotten enough sleep and I'll take valerian root and I'll feel, I'll wake up a little bit earlier than I normally do and I'll feel way, way, way better. To me, if I were to give a kind of like a dosage, I would kind of go to like a gram to a gram and a half seems about like the right dosage for me. It's one of those things that you are going to probably get a little used to it. So, I mean, I wouldn't take it every single day. It's not like it's bad to take it every single day. It's natural. I think it actually lowers your blood pressure too. So that kind of makes sense for like, you know, easing you into sleep, just kind of relaxing you more. This, this is one of just the most highly, highly recommended supplements that I could recommend to anybody. And it's kind of out there in the world. People use it. Um, people put it in sleep blends and stuff too. But like I said, it works, but like I want to control when I have it. So I kind of don't want it in a sleep blend. I just like taking it by itself. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is a powerhouse. Like if you're somebody who doesn't get, you know, if you can only get six hours to sleep or six and a half hours, or you're always doing stuff or you know, you're not waking up refreshed, I highly, highly recommend checking out valerian root along with magnesium but i'm doing a valerian root video today yeah, it's just one of the best i'm always going to use it and i've pretty much suggested it to anybody who's had any sort of sleep issues it's just an absolute powerhouse valerian root check it out leave some comments and feedback down below if uh, you tried this if you have other sleep supplements that you like again for me i really really don't like melatonin it makes me feel weird the next day when i would not have felt weird so I, that's just one thing I don't want to take. I know that's like the number one thing people suggest, but it's just not for me. The top two things I found for sleep are valerian root and magnesium. There's a couple other herbs like lemon balm's good, passion flower's good. You know, I have tried those, but if you have another supplement that you use for sleep and it's all natural, I'd be very interested to see down below. From right now, valerian root, an absolute powerhouse. Please check into it. If you have any sort of sleep issues, it will, you know, help an unbelievable amount. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your help. I'm gonna get out of here because there's a plane going over right now. Having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.